Smash that like button for me. I'm going to go ahead and provide a lot of news right now because I got to go off for like two, two, two and a half hours or something and go return some stuff and get some stuff done for the day. Um, let's get right into the news. We got YG, Nipsey Hustle. Um, we got Thugga Thugga, Young Thug. We got uh, Tyler the Creator. We got Ice T with a Savage uh, response to a fan. We got, well, I wouldn't call him a fan. We got Cardi B, Wendy Williams. We got, uh, we got Kevin Durant responding to some stuff with Chris Brizard. I'm not heavy into sports, but. I think it's worth reporting this. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you please, please, please hit that like button. I'm providing as much news as possible in here. If you want to run ads in the channel, it's JordanTowerMedia at gmail.com. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell. Let's get right into it. Okay, so Wendy Williams commends Cardi B because Cardi B was honest about having liposuction, had some complications, was forced to... Uh, cancel a concert she said take it from cardi who realizes when to sit down she didn't realize during the first concert but she realizes now i'm sure she's very very sorry for baltimore and she also said she could have said anything like my daughter doesn't feel well doesn't i got more money in dubai so i'm going instead like our girl has always done she tells the truth okay and she does get points for that we got 50 cent reacting to the starbucks cup in uh the game of thrones he said got what the f up starbucks and 298 ac power baby season six on the way i got some heat i can't wait for power to come out but it's gonna be like months what august it's a long time man <laughs> um then what do we got here we got oh yeah so kevin durant calls out chris brazar you don't have my number bro because what happened was, so Chris Bizarre put out, uh, if Warriors win the title without KD, does that diminish his two rings? Then Kevin Durant, worst nightmare is coming true. Players around the league, blah, 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 blah. Then he said, I see a little exaggeration there, buddy. My worst nightmare. You sure this is the worst it can get? Then uh, this guy said, KD and I, uh, this guy, uh, Brizard said, KD and I have a love and hate relationship. We've texted two to three hours straight about life, basketball, media, and faith. KD has gone much harder privately. We make a living critiquing athletes. It would be hypocritical of us to not be able to take it. Then he said, Kevin Durant said, cap, 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 cap. You don't have my number, man. Chris Brizard said, IG, DM, Twitter, DM, text. It's all about the same thing nowadays, dude. Don't act like I'm lying. I think the Chris Bizarre guy is lying. I think he's one of these guys that just, you know, pretends he's cool with everybody and he's not. Um, let me see if I can pull up that thing, man. Uh, da, 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 da. I, hate, it's, I hate Twitter sometimes, man, because they don't let you do the thing on the list. Let me see if, see, it's not letting me do it. I'm gonna have to play it from somewhere else, which I didn't want to do. So anyways, uh, Chris Bizard, he responded to Kevin Durant, right? And uh, he, he basically, I'll, I'll play it right here. He says this. Let me start this off by saying I like and respect Kevin Durant and am not trying to continue a Twitter beef with him. However, he did challenge my credibility and I must respond to that. In my telephone, I have more than 60 direct messages from Kevin Durant on Twitter and Instagram since February of 2018. These were conversations initiated by KD himself. We talked about a lot of the things I talked about on Undisputed and some of these conversations lasted more than five hours. If you want to argue over the difference between a text and a DM in the year 2019, go right ahead. But to me, it's all the same thing. For those of you who want me to publish these DMs, it's not going to happen. Out of respect for KD, those texts will remain private. Finally, after all of this, I will continue to love, respect, and pray for Kevin Durant. I hate people like him because they pretend they're friends with you. This guy's trying to make it like they have a loving relationship, like they're, they're boyfriend and boyfriend. Uh, I've known people like this that pretend they're really close to you when they're not. And then, you know, when you call them out, they, they try to take the higher road and like, oh no, I'm gonna pray for him. I'm not gonna do this. Like, get out of here, man. You're a snake, man. Get out, get out, okay? Um, 
but you know, it is what it is, you know? The guy's just making a living Chris Bizarre, but I'm just saying, I've known people like that, and that kind of like gets my blood boiling, man, I'm gonna be honest. Then, uh, what was the other thing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, Young Thug. Okay, so Young Thug, he, uh, re reacts to, uh, Tally the Creator's album, says it's trash, and then Tally the Creator agrees with him. YG is releasing his album, and he is going to donate a piece of the album to Nipsey's kids. I thought that's really nice, uh, doing that for Nipsey. So his, he said his, by the time these kids are 18, they're gonna, they're gonna have a bag. I love that. Um, Felicia the Goat, that's the title of the creator, he said, I know, I'm so trash. In response to, uh, Young Thug saying he's trash. And that's it, man. We got through it, man. I hope you guys had a good day. It's Jordan Taylor with JT News. Make sure you hit that, go to Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax.com for free. And challenge things that are on your credit that shouldn't be there, even if they are supposed to be there. Get them off anyways. We'll check you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Hit the like button for positive vibes. We'll check you in the next one.